Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today, I'll be showing you how to install a washing machine. This one's LG, and I got this one from uh, Sears for about $730, give or take. That's after tax. Uh, and uh, it's the top rated model of the Sturm Report. So this one has a normal cycle of about 65 minutes, and it's supposed to be very energy, energy efficient and gentle on the clothes. And uh, our previous washing machine, once it reached a six minute cycle, it kept on cranking and I'm not sure what was wrong with it. To hire someone to just come and take a look at it was $100. To re uh, repair it probably cost another couple of hundred dollars more. So I figured might as well just buy a whole new washer. So to take off the existing washer is very simple. I just took a, uh, a vice grip and unscrewed it. I unscrewed the cold water, unscrewed the hot water, pulled the unit out, unplugged the power, and took out a drain valve. Simple as that. For a new unit, same exact thing. On the back over here, if you take a look, there's a hot water right here, and there's a cold water right here. So, for this, since this is a cold water, I'm just going to plug this in. It's cold right here. Oh, the pinkness over here, I just wrapped it with like a plumber's tape, and you don't have to, but I did because it's. Uh, gives me a peace of mind, just, I know that nothing's going to drip. So I'm just, I'm just going to uh, tighten this by hand till as far as I can. The same goes with the hot water. I'm just going to tighten this piece by hand too. And for inside, you see a little mesh, plastic mesh? Just leave that there. That's just to catch any dirt in case your town water is not clean or you're, you're using well water to wash. It'll just filter out all the dirt. And right now I'm just going to tighten this by hand. As for this, this is the uh, release, or the this one will just expel all the wastewater. And later on, I'll just need to plug this into that hole over there. So I'll just leave this here for now, just as it's more orderly as I push this uh, washer unit back in there. And the last thing to plug in right now is just this power source. So I'm just going to go in there and plug in this power. <clears throat> okay. All right, now I just need to tighten this back up with this vice grip. Just remember righty tighty, lefty loosey. So I'm just pull, I'm going to go Clockwise, same thing with this one here. Whenever you buy a washing machine, they're always going to try to upsell you on these cables or these uh, hose. You don't need to buy it. It's your existing washing unit will already have one. So unless yours is already def defective, you can just reuse them. Okay. Well, and I'm just gonna put this, push this in, and turn it on. This is basically it. I'm just, I'm done hooking it up. It's as simple as that. You definitely need two people. This unit weighs about 160 pounds, give or take 10 pounds, and uh, it's not easy carrying in. The width and the uh, length. Make sure you have about 27 inches. Uh, each side, or so that your hallway can fit through it, your stairwell has 27 inches, or else you're not going to be able to fit it in. The LG unit has been slid snugly against this uh, washing machine in the wall. It fits perfectly. The bottom, the foot pegs, um, it's made of uh, some non-slip material, so it's pretty good. It's, uh, it's uh, When this thing spins, I don't think it will just spin against, spin or shake its way against the wall like the blast unit. The blast unit kept scratching the wall. And I also put the uh, the valve over here, the one that uh, expels all the wastewater. Just take it out, and stick it in. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tape this piece to over here, to the water valve over here, just to hold it in place, just in case there's any, if there's any gush of water, it's not gonna shoot it out and fall out of place. 
Okay, now the uh, the drain valve is nicely secured, so it's not going to shoot out or anything. And the true test is turn on the water, see if there's any leaks. And no water's dripping. Very good. Very good. Let me just turn this on, see what it is. Oh, it chimes, how sweet. So this is a top loading high efficiency washer. Uh, you can get the full review on Consumer Reports. Let's get a quick look here. We've got a softener, powder, detergent powder, and uh, do not open. I'm guessing this is where it uh, spits the detergent out. And here's for liquid bleach. It says diamond glass. Well, let's see if it really lasts. That's what else we got here. A whole variety of cycles. Permanent wash, delicate, speed wash. I was looking online, this speed wash is for uh, small loads and it should be able to finish in 15 minutes. Alright, we'll see. A lot of our, our baby stuff is uh, small loads. Okay. Well, I hope you found this uh, video useful. Just installing this LG washer. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to send to me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.